everyone, Jeff Chandler here with Seven Peaks Fence and Barn. A lot of questions we get here at Seven Peaks Fence Barn is, hey, when I wanna paint my fence, what do I use? What's the process? How do I do it? So today we're gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step on how to paint your panels or your fencing project that you have. So let's dive on in. First step that you're gonna wanna do when you're painting um, your fencing is you're gonna wanna make sure that it's clean from dirt, from rust, from grease, whatever it may be. You want it to stick to the fencing um, properly. So you're gonna clean it off with some vinegar. Some vinegar is gonna help clean that all off. Um, your second step, and it's really depending on what type of paint you use. Um, there's some uh, paint straight to metal, which we're gonna show you today. But if it's not, whether it's some spray paint or whatever, you're gonna wanna prime that metal before um, you paint it. Your next step obviously is gonna paint. There's a few different applications, whether you spray, brush, or use a mint. We're gonna show you that today, which option is best. But here we also do have a straight metal to, um, or paint to metal uh, paint that we're gonna use and show you how that works. So let's uh, get started with cleaning some of these products with uh, vinegar. All right, today we're gonna do it on a travel panel. Now we're just doing this for an example, but you can do this process with any type of fencing, any type of metal, um, any of our products, whatever you're gonna be painting, this is gonna be the same application. This is just for a smaller, obviously, piece product that we're gonna just do an example on. So first step, we're gonna clean it with some vinegar. So I just like to use a rag, get some vinegar, obviously dip it on, and we're gonna wipe, wipe all the grease off, all the dirt off. And see that? metal typically comes from the mills with some grease on it some stuff on it to keep it nice and fresh for transport and different things so i want to make sure we get all that off so i just did one coat i'll probably just do two to make sure we're nice and clean you can just get this vinegar i mean you can get it at any store any grocery store home depot even sells it that's where i got this so go to your local home depot grocery store grab some vinegar and a rag okay it's first step done clean off your panel with some vinegar and get all that dirt off and uh, we're gonna go to step two if you do not have a already primer paint or a direct to metal paint you're gonna want to make sure you prime it first so we've got this uh, this primer we're gonna spray on and mainly it's gonna be for our spray paint application one thing that um, I recognize and I've known in the past, obviously, if you spray on a windy day, we got a little bit of wind, you're going to lose a lot of your paint. So we're going to prime this panel and then we're going to spray paint it. Um, and we're going to move over to the other applications of brush and the, the, uh, the mint. So let me get this uh, primed real quick and we'll dive on in. All right, we just got it primed. I almost used the whole can of this on this single panel. So you can imagine on how much paint you're gonna need when you're doing a whole bunch of fencing if you're gonna be painting, uh, spraying it. So that's how much you waste, especially on a windy day, is I saw so much just blowing off, which you don't wanna do. Now we're gonna um, let this one dry and we're gonna move over to, um, we'll, we'll spray it with our red paint, our spray paint after this. All right, we got this panel uh, primed and um, it's all dry now. So we're gonna go with the spraying method and we're gonna time it and see how long uh, spraying this panel is. Uh, it's a little windy day, so we might waste some paint. Definitely gonna waste some paint, but let's see how long it takes us to paint and how many coats it's gonna take on this panel. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, we just finished up our third coat on this panel on spraying it. So we did a primer, we did two coats of spray. It looks really, really nice. It took us about 24 minutes to do three coats. Very, very clean, very even. Um, I really like this finish. So let's dive into the brush and see how that looks. Um, but I really like this finish. We did waste a little bit of paint from spraying the wind. It took us two full cans but uh, let's see how the rest uh, end up. All right guys, we just saw um, the application of the spray paint. So now we're gonna move to the brush and see which one's quicker. Um, so I've got some direct um, paint to metal paint from Home Depot. It says right here, 
direct to metal paint. So it's a semi-gloss exterior paint. Um, so we're gonna jump in and start painting it and see how long it takes us. So here we go. All right, we just got finished with our second coat of the brush. And one thing that from experience and things I've learned, when you're brushing, you're always gonna have brush marks. So here you can really see brush marks. There's some drips that have been uh, touching up, but we're already at 25 minutes on our second coat um, and it's still not finished. We're gonna need one more coat. So um, just wanted to give you an update on our brushing so far. I don't really like it. It's taken me a long time. The, I don't like the brush marks. All right, we just finished up this two rail panel or travel panel in about 35 minutes. So guys, as you can tell, this is probably a quarter of our four rail standard panel. It took us 35 minutes. I had to do three coats and there's a lot of, a lot of lines, a lot of drips that I keep going over with the brush. So plan accordingly if you're gonna brush. It takes a long time and it doesn't look the greatest, but you do not waste a lot of paint. I very, I, I barely used any paint on this panel. Um, so that is the plus side as you waste very little when you're brushing. Just keep those things into consideration. We're gonna move over now into the paint mitt. So let's dive into that. Now we are on to our last and final application. It's the paint mitt. So you can find these on Amazon. I, there's a few different options. So we're gonna try this one out. Never used one before. So I've got a little bit bigger pan than the actual paint can. I'm gonna dip my hand in and literally we're just gonna go over the rails. So um, these are actually made for fencing, for, for round pipe and tubing. So let's see how good it works. Here we go. All right, I just finished the third coat with the mint. At first it was really sloppy, really messy, really ugly, but it actually turned out not too bad. I wouldn't say three coats is completely finished, but uh, so you could do one more coat to kind of get to the same spot we were with the spray paint and the, uh, the brush, but uh, it was really fast. We actually did 20 minutes and three coats so it was the fastest one yet. I would say it's probably the second prettiest between the three. And uh, let's go through all our options and see the differences between each one. All right, everyone, we just finished our paint project to really see which option is the fastest, which one looks the best. So here we've got our painted one. This one took us 24 minutes. It is absolutely the number one, in my opinion, as far as look goes. It's the middle in time, prettiest panel, looks great. A lot of waste and paint, but it definitely looks like the best finish here. So then we're gonna go to the brush. The brush took us 34 minutes and it's absolutely the ugliest one out of all three. So um, lots of streaks. You're gonna have the least amount of waste, but it takes the longest and it looks the ugliest. I definitely throw out the brush option. And then we go into the mid option, which I was kind of surprised with. It actually took us 20 minutes. It was the fastest, and I'd say it's in the middle as far as looks. It's not terrible, but it's not the best. If you were to, to do the mitt, I'd recommend mixing a brush for the edges and then the mitt on the rails, and it would probably go a little bit quicker altogether. But if I were to choose the options, I'd definitely go with the spray one over here. So this is our number one pick. It's gonna be the prettiest look, the finish, and uh, it's not gonna take you nearly as long as brushing, but uh, it's still a good time frame for you to paint your panels, paint your fencing. Um, spraying option, I definitely say, is gonna be your best for looks and time-wise. So that was our painting project, everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed this video from our comparisons, and hopefully this helps you out when you're working on your next painting project for fencing or some of our products. So thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.